My name is Michael Patrick. Uh, I live in Elk Grove, California. I'm a recent convert. I was baptized at the Easter Vigil in 2021 and started really exploring the Catholic faith in the summer of 2020. Chinese health authorities are still working to identify the virus behind a pneumonia outbreak in the central city of I'm sure you remember that was kind of a tense time. And with everything that was going on, um, I wasn't in the best place. I certainly wasn't taking the best care of myself and didn't feel like I was the husband that I needed to be or the father that I needed to be for my kids. I'd been exploring a lot of other religions, different traditions, looking for God, looking for peace, and to have an actual relationship with Him. My friend is a Catholic, and he, uh, we were driving home one day, and he had a rosary hanging from his rearview mirror. And I asked about it. Something about it just called out to me. And uh, he started telling me a little bit about it, and then was like, hey, you want one? Reached into his center console and tossed me a spare that he just happened to have. And it, it spoke to me. There was something about it that I just, I knew I had to explore more. I started praying the rosary. And again, I, I knew very little about the Catholic Church at the time, but I knew that I was finding peace in this. It immediately resonated with me. So I started to kind of just develop this program of sorts of daily lifestyle that would draw me further into the faith and further into a relationship with God. I was telling a friend about what I was doing. I said, man, I'm, I'm feeling really good about this. And this friend said, hey, that sounds a lot like Exodus 90. And I'd never heard of that before. I said, what's that all about? And immediately looked it up. And it was later in 2021, I mentioned Exodus 90 to my priest. And he said, yeah, it sounds like a great idea. And then right, into, right at the beginning of the year, kind of right before the Exodus started, just we started getting flooded with calls and emails and guys that were interested in what we were doing. We had 54 guys signed up and ready to go. I agreed to do Exodus 90 because I liked the idea of the challenge. Exodus kind of breaks you down a little bit and it shows you where the, where the cracks are in your armor, what some of the things you need to work on the most are. The disciplines and the asceticisms run such a gamut across a wide range of the challenges that we face as men. And there's gonna be certain ones that are really easy because that's not your particular issue, but you'll find the ones that are. After we got through with our first Exodus, we, we realized that we had started something really special. Like we had built something here. The, the bonds and the camaraderie that men build when they go through something challenging together, when they go through a rite of passage together, are unique. Men need the accountability that they get from other men. We need brothers. It's essential, it's, it, it can't be ignored. And so that's been hugely beneficial and something that has definitely benefited me a lot since forming this fraternity. These men have become some of my best friends. I definitely saw a change in my relationship with my wife, where she's been very supportive of my conversion and of my involvement in the church and in my faith. And I think one of the main reasons for that is because she can see the change in me. I would encourage any man to do this. And not even just any Catholic man, honestly. This is for any man who wants to grow and evolve and be better, who's looking to find better relationships with other men and improve the relationships that he has in his life with his partner, with his family, could absolutely benefit from Exodus 90.